Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and um, just want to update. I get a lot of questions about security, how to stay safe in Windows 10 and in Windows in general. And I just want to say that um, in general, and let's just uh, re-explain the basics. What you need to do to stay safe in Windows is very simple. First of all, there's no need to buy antivirus. This is a business that is trying to get money from you. Stores are trying to get money because if they, of course, sell an antivirus, they get a percentage. And of course, even manufacturers, you buy a new PC and there's a trial version of McAfee or Norton or, you know, um, Kaspersky. Well, that's uh, simply a way of trying to get money from you because they're trying to tell you that, well, you know what? Uh, your computer is not safe. You need antivirus. Unfortunately, there's a very sad way of that being done. And the way it is done is that they're kind of trying to tell you that you have no protection when in reality you have Windows security in your PC. Every Windows 10 PC comes with Windows security. It is the antivirus that is part of the operating system. That's why you don't need anything else. Some will post comments. It happens regularly. Oh, well, you know, that antivirus didn't test well. or It doesn't matter whatever test it got through. It is pretty good in most tests. And what I mean by that is that if you still think antivirus is what's protecting you, you've got security totally wrong. It's simple. Real good tech guys, real good um, security experts, when you ask them about security, they're not even going to talk about antivirus because that's not where security is. Antiviruses, yes, I do not recommend you don't run one, but Windows security is enough. The real security, the biggest one, comes from making updates so you know when I tell you on patch Tuesday to make these updates we got an example this month of an IPv6 uh, security flaw that's really really intense and uh, well you know what if you do your security updates and you check for updates on patch Tuesday and install those updates you are secure you're totally secure already because 99% of viruses and malware exploit a security flaw if you have made your security updates you're already at low risk the second thing is what you do of course if you download illegal movies music and things like that you're at high risk you are going to get viruses it's not even a question of if it's a question of you are going to get viruses as a tech guy Almost everybody that I actually had to remove viruses do illegal stuff or do stuff that shouldn't be done or download, you know, hacked games. Yeah. What do you know about the, that game and the, how it was hacked? How do you know it's not hacked and has some form of ransomware, malware, keylogger? That's the majority of, you know, anything that people download that has been hacked. The... Um, other thing then is uh, you so if you just do your little daily business going on your regular websites your email not clicking on anything weird now downloading not downloading any uh, form of attachments that you don't know what they are and where they come from you know what you are extremely safe there is unfortunately this way of thinking that Windows is unsecure when in reality it is as secure as any other operating system, if not more, because it's the one that gets attacked all the time by bad guys because it's the one that is the majority of computers. So that's as simple as that. Update your system. Make sure that you update the software you use, including your web browser like Google Chrome. And just be careful what you do. Make sure that at the most basic, Windows security has that little green check mark to say, yeah, it's working. And you know what? You're okay. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.